Hi guys, Brad Verma here. And today's topic is, should you sell your house or rent it out when you're planning to move out? So the things to consider when you're looking to either sell or rent is you need to figure out what are the pros and cons of both scenarios. And on the selling side, you know, it could be very simple. You need to figure out what is it, how is it gonna impact uh, your tax consequences? Um, and you need to talk to your tax attorney or just figure out what is your obligation tax-wise uh, if you are looking to sell and if you are planning to use that money to invest it into um, some kind of uh, you know, uh, place, another place, another real estate place or if it's going to be stock, bonds, whatever it is that you're planning to invest it, you just need to figure out what it is and how that's going to imp impact your tax, uh, taxes. So that's number one. Second is, if you're looking to sell, you need to also figure out what kind of uh, return on investment will you get when you sell it. You know, sometimes it's better to, to keep the property if it has not appreciated that much uh, so that you can get some more appreciation and then maybe later on sell later on. But if your property is already appreciated uh, quite a bit, then it may be a good time to sell. Um, especially in today's market, you know, the mar uh, we've had a great up cycle in the last few years and we've seen prices, you know, increase quite a lot. So you should have accumulated a lot of equity into your property if you've, uh, you know, held onto your property for the last few years. So now let's talk a little bit about the rental scenario and see if it makes sense for you to go that route or not. So the number one thing to consider when you're thinking about renting out your property instead of selling it is you want to look at the math, whether it makes sense or not. And what I mean by that is you look at what your mortgage payments are and all the other expenses that you have associated with the house and whether the rent that you receive from that, from that house um, is going to you know, cover those, all those expenses and plus whether you'll get some kind of uh, you know, additional cash flow from that as well. You know, most people when they look at uh, selling uh, or renting, when they're looking at renting the house, they just look at that one big number which is the mortgage payment. Well, let me tell you a few other car expenses that you need to consider when you are deducting, you know, from the rent. You need to deduct the mortgage payment. That's probably the biggest one. The property taxes. You need to take care of all the utilities. Uh, you need to take care of, uh, you know, vacancy rate. Um, you know, and a lot of the times it may take a while to rent it out or if you have somebody who's leaving, then you have, <clears throat> you may have a little, little, little bit of vacancy. Uh, you need to take care of uh, repairs and maintenance items. So you need to budget for that as well. Uh, so there are several other items that will add to that, to that line item of expenses. And it's not just uh, you know, the mortgage payment, which a lot of people just quickly just deduct the mortgage payment. So you wanna make sure that you're accounting really well for all the expenses, and then seeing how much cash flow do you have coming in. And uh, you know, if you, if you wanna get a detailed analysis, I'm happy to do that for you. I do that for a lot of my clients to kind of you know, put in the numbers. I do a market analysis for what the rents would be, and then what all the expenses would be, and what kind of cash flow you're looking at. So we can do that very quickly for you. So you can see what the, what the cash flow would be. So that's number one. Number two item that you want to consider if you, if you are thinking about renting is how convenient will it be for you uh, to rent it out if it's going to be, if you're going to be moving away to a far off location, um, then you want to keep that in mind whether you will have the time and the energy to, to take care of any issues while you're away in a different city or a different state. Um, it's, it can be done where you have a property manager, but that's gonna be another additional line item in your performa to deduct. Um, so if you are just thinking of renting it by yourself, you know, if something breaks down in the house or if there's some repairs to be done, uh, some maintenance items, it does, uh, it, it does take up time and uh, you know, always you know, keep that in mind if you are planning to go in that direction of renting it out. 
So just something to keep in mind if you are planning to move away from your house and living somewhere else in a different city or state, keep that in mind. Number three item that you want to consider when you're thinking of renting is what will it do for you long term? You know, are you planning to ultimately, uh, you know, just have that property be long term as a rental investment? Or is this more of a short term solution? The reason why I bring it up is, you know, we do have a lot of rent control laws that take into effect in different cities, especially in California. There are a lot of laws in San Francisco where the tenant actually has the right to stay in the property if they are paying rent and you cannot just evict them just because you want to you know move them out if they are paying rent and if they're taking good care of the property and everything they have the right to be there and yes you may be able to sell your property still but you cannot ask them to leave um, you know the new buyer will have to assume the lease so yes you do, you do have rights to the property but the occupancy rights get reduced quite a bit when you do have a tenant in there. So just something to keep in mind. And you know, it, these laws, they change depending on city to city. So if you are looking to uh, you know, rent something out in Menlo Park, just, you know, just talk to somebody who's knowledgeable about that city. If you would like, you know, feel free to call me, let me know, and I can do all the research and kind of at least give you some uh, initial guidance and then obviously you can talk to uh, an attorney as well regarding that regarding taxes and regarding what the rights are um, so that's another item to consider is your rights so those are some of the main items to consider if you are thinking of renting versus selling your house obviously there are a lot more uh, things that we can dive deeper into depending on your situation and the location of the house and the market conditions. So if you're looking to get a more detailed evaluation uh, of those scenarios, you know, feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to help you out and you know, see which scenario works best for you.